Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is another video review of DN9 and today we'll be talking about settings servers. So let's have a look at this view. The first set of information of data that shows up is the system info. The system info is the equivalent on previous versions of DNN of the host dashboard. So the information that you find on the dashboard is the same, it's pretty much the same one that you find under system info. However, there are a few tabs that were removed here from this view, or maybe they are just not active at this point. I'm not sure what's going on, but what you see here on system info is just a, a set of read-only information about the site, about the server. You can see the product version, you can see friendly URLs, if, if it's using web farm, what uh, data provider is using, which editor is using, this is the application tab and sub tab. And then we have the web sub tab, which shows about information about the web server, the physical path, the site URL, which version of .NET framework is being used, the, the uh, IIS, uh, ASP.NET identity, all read only, all information here. And also we have the last tab, the last sub tab, which is a database tab, showing which version of SQL is being used here, if there were previous backups done on the database, and the current size and names of the database files, the, the main database, the log file, how big they are. So very, very important information that you can find here under system info. Now, let's go back here to the top. The, I, I was actually missing those two options, the restart application, the clear cache. I didn't know where they, they have uh, placed those two options, but hey, they are here on service. And the place that used to be there on previous DNN, DNN versions is under tools. The clear cache is here, the clear cache option, and the restart application option is also here. So you can do that by clicking on those buttons at the top of the server's view. Now, let's have a look at the next tab close to the system info. We have server settings. So a lot of, a lot of settings that were previously under host, host settings, they have been moved to server, server settings. We have SMTP server settings, which can be set globally or can be set locally as well, locally to this site in particular. As you can see, if we set it to global, you can see the globe here, which means that only this is applicable to the entire site and only super user has access to that. And my site, which is locally to this site, admin has access to set this up as well. Now let's leave it as it was before. Those other settings, they are all, they were all available on DNN, on the previous versions of DNN as well. Nothing new here. You can test SMTP settings as well. Let's have a look at the other sub tab, which is the performance. A lot of, a lot of uh, caching options here. Not too much difference, although I, I see a slight difference here authenticated cacheability and unauthenticated cacheability. I don't think that both of them were there before. I might be mistaken. We have some SSL settings here, which to be honest, I'm not so sure about what this is. Also, we have the client resource management here available under service view, which is whether or not you want to allow minification, you can do it globally or you can do it for the website alone. Those are the options. You can also increment the, the version. So uh, you can invalidate cache. And we have the save button here at the button if we want to save that. Last but not least, we have the logs, the log file, the log view. This is a, a way that you can access the logs that are produced by DNN. So you can just select one and you can see what's going on there. Just for the sake of it, let's let's try those buttons at the top. Let's try to clear the cache. And of course you see refresh and we have also the restart application. Great, so it restarts and it brings back the view uh, on top again. So that's about it. That's a quick review of the settings server on DNN 9. 